What's up everyone, this is Impact Easy, and welcome to Expeditions Rome. We are going to be starting our Roman Conquest in this series, and I've put a bit of time into the game. I know the game's reasonably simple, it's almost like, almost like chess, where it's easy to learn, but uh, it takes a lifetime to master. So we're going to be kind of learning as we go, at least tactics anyways, I know the basics. So let's start this up, and the first episode is probably going to be a lot of text and reading uh, a lot of a lot of story in the first few minutes in the year of lucius licinius lucullus rome was prosecuting several wars of self-defense most notably in greece where lucullus himself was commanding the legions with everyone's gaze directed at the provinces few could have known that a seemingly inauspicious event in rome would become the central fulcrum around which the fate of the republic would turn the paterfamilias of a venerable patrician house had passed away unexpectedly, and a senator by the name of Vitellius Scaevola had made a bid for the hand of his eldest child. His widow alone believed that Scaevola had poisoned her husband, and now strove to take his place and claim his property through marriage. Acting in secret, the widow arranged for her youngest child to be taken out of their villa in the dead of night and smuggled out of Rome. All right, so let's pick our character. We're going to be going with, if I can, women are not given first names. Okay, well, we weren't going to play a woman anyway, so let's uh, take this out. If I can spell my own name right, that would be great. Uh, family name, let's go with Romil Romilius. Reminds of Romulus from Star Trek. Uh, nickname. There we go. Uh, we'll keep this character uh, picture. I think I I like it due to the fact that we are an upcoming general, so we don't want to play as one of the older guys. We want to be a young a young character uh, working his way up the ranks. Uh, shorts fine. Hair color. We'll make a tall character. And I don't know if any of that even matters. Like the tall. I don't know, but either way, let's confirm that. We're going to go with logic, so the art of convincing someone with the sound, with sound logic arguments and reasoning. We'll go with that. And we're going to play on normal. Uh, I am pretty new to the game, so we don't want to get too insane, but uh, maybe in another playthrough we can rank up the difficulty. So we'll play on normal this time. Did you hear me, Domine? Your body is surely present, but your mind seems somewhere else. Sorry, old friend, I guess I'm still thinking about what happened. Our departure was very sudden, I know. But do not dwell on the past. Better to focus on what's coming at you. I asked the Triarchus how close we are to Lesbos, but uh, he would not give me a straight answer. He still just claims we are close to our destination? Indeed. In his defense, there are many islands on this sea, and they mostly look the same. Will you check with the Triarchus? Hopefully he will give you a clearer answer. The man he told me his name is Geminus. The man may generally not know our position. I'll see if, he, see if I can help him work it out. If nothing else, you do have a way of making unreasonable people see reason. You should also go and thank Quintus Aquilinus. I do believe he saved our lives with his timely appearance at the villa. Your mother paid Geminus handsomely to set off in great haste under cover of night. Two others did board with us, also bound for Lesbos. Young Gaius has been pacing impatiently over there, wearing grooves into the deck. There was a gladiator too, but I don't know where he went. We left so quickly, my mother and sister. Do not worry. The Witellius brothers have no reason to do them any harm. Besides, you cannot save them by worrying. Focus on the task ahead. And thank you for coming with me, Cernos. Thank you for bringing me along. It will be wonderful to see my homeland again. All right, let's go see. Those are objectives. Okay. 
Let's head out here. Let's talk you to... You found your sea legs quickly, Domine. Uh, God, what's his you name? handle the sea better than most. I'm glad. Sinchuro, I want to thank you for your timely arrival. The timing was fortunate, but there is no need to thank me. The consul sent me to get you. Please, call me Kaiser, if it's not too familiar. My subordinates call me Kenturio. My superiors call me Aquilinus. My friends call me Kaiser. Can we go for the plan? Our departure was far too hasty to, to discuss our course of action. Ah, she did not keep you apprised. Your mother has secretly been making arrangements with the consul. You are to join his command staff as Tribunus. No, nothing Don't about Don't worry. Me. It's a purely ornamental position. It will prepare you well for a traditional political career. You will not see combat, nor will you make any important decisions. You'll be safe, as your mother wanted. If I'm going to follow Legion around, I might as well make myself useful. I'm not here to... Yeah, well... I'm sure the console will find use for you. You seem to have a good head on your shoulders. You'll get the hang of things quickly. One word of advice. I know Lucullus is a friend of your family, but remember, he is the consul, elected by the people to rule all of Rome. It's best if you don't act too familiar with him in front of his men. What is your relationship with Lucullus? For many years, I was the primus pellis of Legio Prima Italica, which he commands. He needed someone he could trust to get you out of Rome and keep you safe. Will you be returning to your position? That position has already been filled by one of my Centurionis. A good man, easily up to the task. My job now is to watch your back and help you settle into your new life. Happy to be at your service. Have you talked to any other passengers? I had a brief talk with that gladiator who boarded before us, just to make sure he won't give us any trouble. He seems to have vanished, though. The young man over there, Gaius, is apparently the nephew of the other consul, Marcus Aurelius Cotta. He's here to become a tribunus as well. You should talk to him if you haven't already. I'm sure you'll have much in common. All right, let's go talk to this gentleman, too. I heard he's running from a senator who wants him dead. Shh, keep your voice down. What is he looking for? The oars are working hard. Morning. That would not be a job mm -hmm. oh, that I would want. What? Yes, Geminus. So, uh, I'm a little preoccupied. The wind has been rather still today, hasn't it? I've noticed the oars have been out since early in the morning. Is that's what's causing our delay. You're right. The rowers are getting tired. We should let them rest soon, but that will cause even more delay. Wait. You finally see Lesbos on the horizon. Oh, shit. They're headed straight towards us. They're gonna ram. Get your father's weapons. Let's see if you can actually fight. How did you not see him? Are you all right? I'm fine, Kenturio. Form up! Let's get these pirates off our ship! Right, let's get him back there. This formation will be fine. Okay, we know the basics. Let's, um... See what we can do here. Deadly with that thing. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able I've to kill him. lives before this one. Uh, we can still come here. Um, I can come here and do a shield bash. That works. And we'll head up this way. We didn't really do that much damage there. That's concerning. Let's move up. All 
All right, that's pretty much it. Hold them there. I'll circle around them. At least he's causing a distraction. that gladiator who boarded with us up there tell him to get down here and help us never underestimate the value of an impressive entrance all right Can we kill anyone this with this arrow not likely Oh, we got him. We got a crit on him. Nice. Ah, there's two down. This is still kind of worrisome. He's kind of... Oh, I didn't... Damn it. Didn't mean to do that. We need to pull him back. Far, far away now. I meant to click on my archer. Nice. Alright, that is... It for them. Give him an old shield bash. Well, we're down a man because of a misclick. Not a big deal, though. Still didn't go down. My god. Just gonna have to waste all of our attacks on this one guy. Can move. Oh uh, no, we'll leave him here for now. They're gonna have to move up. I know, but we're not... We can't use him, he only has two health. Where are you going? This is it. Just one more. Ah, damn. That's not what I wanted you to do. I wanted you to use your attack through here. A couple of misclicks. But uh, luckily, nothing came of it. To Neptune's asshole, barbarians! Ugh. The Triacus run us straight into the pirate ambush spree, man. Allow me to execute him right here and right now. This traitor must be working with them. Yeah, he was acting pretty shady. I will make him pay for his betrayal. It is quite unusual for pirates to attack any ship. 
let alone a heavily armed Roman galley. They prefer to attack lightly defended coastal towns instead. It's less risky and more profitable. Well, let's go talk to the man. Yeah, what the hell happened, man? Geminus! You steered us into a trap. What do you have to say for yourself? I had nothing to do with it, I promise. They came out of nowhere. Silence! You utter nonsense! By Mars, it is the sea! How can anyone come from Rui? We cannot execute a man based on no evidence. Besides, we need our Triarchus to make it safely ashore. Huh. What do you say, kid? What do you think we should do? Power to attack the ship as you say, why would the ones make an exception? We are, many of us, important people, on our way to join the action against Lesbos. Is it not conceivable that the rebels heard of us? The Kingdom of Pontus is known to sponsor pirates, to harass and weaken Rome. I do not believe we have any reason to suspect our Triarchus of colluding with them. Now he's dead. No tolerance for failure. Very well. Let us hope you will hold yourself to the same standard. Yeah, we're here to succeed, not to fail. No one intends to fail. Yet, inevitably, even the gods fail. No, I, I had no way of knowing. Please! I told you! Keep silent! Jesus. It's a hell of a way to kill someone. Rowers! Up to tempo! And keep your eyes open! All right. Oh, we did pretty good there. I mean, it was the first battle. Now we get to pick our character. Having a shield would be nice. Princeps. Could be... It could be a healer. Is this... Logistics, plus two movement. Medics heal their teammates and remove negative effects. I don't want to be an archer. Hmm. The third line of the Roman Legion can reduce the effectiveness of the enemy and improve the performance of their allies. Yeah, medics, flag bearers, control the battlefield by buffing allies, destroyers deliver devastating attacks that damage an enemy armor. Yeah, let's be a uh, Triarius here. And we'll pick... Plus 25% damage, that's pretty good. I say 26, I was looking at 6 hexes. 25% damage. 50% damage against target who is stunned, crippled, knocked down, or sh sundered. I like this. Let's take that. Maybe we'll run around like a uh, deadly medic. Gentlemen, welcome to Lesbos, the pearl of the Mediterranean. <laughs> An ugly nest of pirates. An impenetrable fortress of pirates, more like. With an infinite food supply thanks to the strength of their fleet. We shall find a way to limit this infinite supply, then. 
You think like an Imperator, Gaius. All right, people. This is Lucullus's war camp, the heart of our operations in this territory. You have been seaborne for a long time now. I suggest you walk it off. See the things you have to see, and meet the people you have to meet. The Consul waits in the command tent. Don't be too late if you don't want to see him angry. All right, let's go talk to him. We'll talk to the Council. How long are they going to keep us here? Looks like he's already run in there. Saw a gripper harassing that old service with the limp again. That small dick bully. Did you tell this is not going to work, as long as the rebels keep receiving supplies by sea. We will need to cut their supply lines. It's an operation for our occulta speculatoris. By Jupiter, you sure have grown up. Haven't you? This is the promising young man I was telling you about, Thermos. Quite unassuming, but full of potential, I guess. Prime material for the speculatories, if he can prove himself. Yeah, just tell me what needs to be done. A trial by fire is what you need. Now pay attention. We've been in a deadlock here on Lesbos for some time now. My co-consul, Marcus Aurelius Cotter, is engaged against King Mithridates of Pontus in the east. Mithridates is using the pirates of Lesbos as his navy. The fortress of Mytilene here is well protected, but it also has a weakness. There's a mountain pass we can utilize. I will lead the assault myself. I volunteer for the vanguard. If my uncle can defeat Pontus, I can surely handle Mytilene. So be it then. Meanwhile, you will prove yourself as a leader, my young ward. Take Caeso Quintius Acolinus, your service Cineros, and that gladiator who came with you on the ship. You will meet up with Julius Calidus of my legion speculatories. Your mission is to sneak into the harbor and destroy the enemy ships any way you can. I expect you have questions. I'm giving the impression that I was going to serve you. If you're worried about your future political prospects, have no fear. We will tell everyone you served as my tribunus with great distinction. Uh, why can I not take part in the main assault? If you are fast, you may yet play a part in that. But for the assault to succeed, you must do this first. Um, all of this just secondary operation. No, I think we're all done. Wait. Are those your father's old weapons? I'm sure they mean a lot to you, but look, the leather is brittle. This won't do. Visit my smith, Sextus, and get yourself properly equipped before you go. All right, sounds good. Let's head to the blacksmith. That other legion. Sextus. I'm going to be butchering these names as well. No doubt about it. Salve, Legionari. If you're here to get your weapons fixed, you must have me confused with Vulcan. These are my father's weapons. Was he buried with them? This leather is fossilizing. Help yourself to any of the gear on the racks. Take all of it if you need it. Uh, if I'm in need of something special, can I commission you to smith it for me. I have enough work on my hands right now supplying the consul's Kenturiones. Uh, do you do you sell materials? You'll have to bring your own materials if you want any work done. I have nothing to spare. All right. Um, left alt, right? So it'll tell us what is available. And we'll just take it all. Let's see what we let's see if we can upgrade anybody. Combat stats, yeah, perks and personality. All right. Uh next. Into the slots. Specific items can go into specific slots. You can also click on an item to automatically equip it to the right spot. So we can actually yeah, replace our sword. When you equip a weapon, you gain access to its skills. You can hover over them. Yeah, see what they say. Each character can carry two sets of weapons and can freely swap between them in combat. Click this button or Q to select the weapon you are currently weapon you are current set. Only the skills from the current set can be shown in the skill bar. OK, 
Okay, so we have this in our bare hands. And we'll put that on, definitely. What about you? Do you want a Roman staff? That is better. Can anybody use the sword? Nobody wants it. So four and seven, three and five. He can't use it anyways. Everyone's pretty happy with us. What, are the, what can we do here? Hamstring, piercing, armor shred of one. That's good. Uh, applies stuck to enemies, movement reduced to zero. Uh, five to 10 piercing damage, one armor shred, good. And marking strike. More armor shredding, apply spotted to enemies. Ranged attacks against this target deal full damage regardless of distance. Oh, wow. That's good. All right, well, that's pretty much everybody. Let's head out and... Meet Julius Gladius. Julius Gal... The Pyrus are getting Gladius. bolder. They attacked another one of our... Shit. This is kind of confusing. Usually the leave would be like go and stop kind of thing. Is that just me or does that kind of trip you guys out too? Oh, did you hear? It seems They need to like reverse those two buttons. All right, the world map, event timeline, rations. During your travels, your Praetorians consume yeah. Alright. So we are here. Maybe we want to... Explore a little bit. We need to get to the warehouse up here. There's a milestone there. Cancel that for now. I want to kind of like. I mean, there's no real rush to start that. Whoops. Gained 50 XP. Do we just level up there? No. Like, what's down here? Nice. Let's, uh, let's see what that was all about. There we go. That'll give him a bit more protection. Good. Alright, let's start heading to our objective. I don't know if there's anything else over there that we can check out, but we, I want to get there before before sunrise. We might be at the wrong spot. There's no one here. Oh, uh, I said the agent would be here. Lucullus is clearly mistaken. If there was someone here, I would know. That's a very useful skill. Hey, don't move. Calm down. I am Julius Calidus of the Occulta Speculatores of Legio Prima Italica. I presume you are my reinforcements. Man, those Latin names are just <laughs> so hard to pronounce. All right, great premier. See that warehouse? They store Greek fire there. First order of business is to steal it. Unfortunately, the moment we move into that warehouse, they will sound the alarm. So we should be quick. Ah, uh, we should make sure nobody escapes. The last thing we need are reinforcements. By the time anyone comes from the city, we're long gone. There's a small camp of sentries just down this hill. 
If we hit them first, they won't show up as reinforcements. But then the ones inside the warehouse will hear the fighting and be ready for us. You have touched the matter with a needle. The choice is yours, Prima. Yeah, we'll take care of those reinforcements first, but we also need to take care of our... our skills. Yeah. Uh, passive. Okay. So we have Field Medic. This is all right. What? Plus one status effect duration. Um, you can... You gain bolstering presence, which applies bolstering to all adjacent tiles. Uh, this character can not fail morale checks. Critical chance, that would be nice. The healing would be nice as well, but we we don't really have access to healing just yet. Downing an enemy awards plus three morale to allied characters within three hexes. I think we'll go with the critical chance. It's always good to do extra damage. Let's uh, buff his health. You can... Yeah, take... Well, no, you're not going to be using that right away. Let's take the critical chance with you as well. And you, Savage. Increase unarmed damage by 100. Applies dodging to self. The next attack, the character has a 50% chance to inflict no damage. Or... One hundred percent critical chance for the next attack by this character. That's pretty good. Let's take that. All right, so that's everybody. Let's head over here. Take care of this patrol. Looks like a little camp in the rocks. Look alive! The Romans are here. How did they get so close? All right, they have, pl what is this, three, two archers up there? Okay. Let's, uh... Who's our quickest? You guys move the farthest. 15, you have 15 as well. Because I want to bring one character around this backside. Could almost hold back here and hold the line. Our archers wouldn't be able to hurt us. There's no, uh, I mean, there's no time limit. Let's see if we can do that. Can I get up in this hex here? I want to get close to this rock to provide cover from the archer. Actually, gonna put you here. Yeah, maximum range, deflection, all good stuff. Okay. No, I can't set that on fire. Alright, so he won't be able to move next turn. Characters will automatically crouch. Yep. Let's move him up here to kind of block any attack there. We'll just move up the line. There's really nothing more. Actually, I could go here. Still cover this way. But, uh, yeah, we'll just... We'll skip our turn. We have a ton of unused unused points. But I want them to come to me. I can block that. Get over there. Advance. Yeah, they're not going to be able to reach us. We'll face them together. Those archers are going to be useless. Oof, that wasn't very much damage. Yeah, I don't want to get locked in there. Ah! 
Is that just this turn? I guess that's just for one turn, so we're... <laughs> that was kind of a waste. Alright, next turn. I'll take a hit. Oh! Well, we got rid of his shield. I see them. Well, Let's get I took a bit of damage fast. there. But there are... Yeah, one, once again, their archers are totally useless. Nice. What? I gotta be a tile away. Range of three hexes. Okay, that's my fault. I didn't read that. Two hexes, two hexes. So we're always going to be two away. Well, we can kill... We can kill you, can we not? Let's just get back into formation there. Swap out a little bit. Got those archers, don't know what to do. Every time a light infantry character makes an attack, they gain focus equal to the combined. Yep. All right, let's get our archer over here. We'll apply some burning to this one. Yeah, I can't really get by him without getting... Can I kill him? That would be lovely. No. Well, I can move you. Nice. Then, if I move here... That's quite the... Quite the attack. Let's get right up in their face. This is the last one! It's slow and steady, people! Nice. That went really well. Alright, now we have to continue on to the actual objective to break into the warehouse and steal the Greek fire. Let's, uh, let's head over there. Is anyone still crawling? No, everyone's dead. Guess we can head up here. It looks like there's a Roman or or some sort of uh, archer there. May Hercules, the enemy is upon us. All right, well, before we enter this battle, I'm going to end the episode here. And when we come back, we will complete this, hopefully complete this warehouse without taking a defeat. So if you guys want to join me on the next episode, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to everyone later. Have a good day. Bye for now.